Paper license plates used to cover up fraud and crime across Texas. KXAN investigators have profiled these risky rides for a year and a half. New tonight, we've learned one of these plates was front and center during a violent weekend in Austin. Those officers pulled that vehicle over, got involved with that vehicle, and guess what? There were weapons in that car. That is not an isolated thing. You're playing a shell game. You have no idea who you're pulling over. We're talking about the shootout involving Austin police during the final weekend of South by Southwest. Sources tell us the suspect car in this case had a paper tag when it shouldn't have. It was highlighted at the state capitol as some now say efforts to combat increasing fraud and crime on our roads will never improve until necessary changes are made at the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. KXA investigator Brittany Glass has exclusive details for us tonight. Brittany. Yeah, this is a problem I've gotten to see firsthand. Now we rode along with Travis County investigators as they broke down the very real danger this fraud has allowed. Tonight, I have a copy of the memo this task force sent to lawmakers outlining their recommendations to curb the problem. <laughs> It was a dangerous situation on 7th Street downtown. The brave men and women of the Austin Police Department ran towards that gunfire, in fact, putting themselves directly in the line of fire in an attempt to put a stop to this threat. Later that day, the vehicle involved, a Maserati, was discovered with a body inside in East Austin. We saw that they were towing a car, and the car involved in that had a Texas dealer agent tag on it. It immediately caught Sergeant Joe Escribano's attention. It was a tag, a paper tag that was being used illegally. Escribano heads up Travis County's Clean Air Task Force. He says it's a problem when you can't trace the tag to the driver. The dealer agent tag is specific because when you, an officer runs it through the computer system, all he's going to get is the dealer agent's name. There's nothing on the car. There's nothing. It could be anybody is the problem. It's something the task force knows all about. We've got one dealer that we were looking at. It issued uh, 4,000 tags in one month and they're showing up all over the United States. The constable says people are accessing the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles system and illegally duplicating paper tags and in some cases selling them online. We need to want the legislator to be aware that there's problems that need to be addressed. That's why the task force put out this memo to the Sunset Commission, outlining seven recommendations they say the DMV could implement now to improve dealer licensing and how it issues license plate tags with the hope of cutting down on crime. There's things that you can do here that will help us right now do the job. We don't have those tools. We need access to those tools. Their message, the DMV needs to improve. In their system itself right now, they have certain things that have enabled fraud. Uh, not willingly, but they have and those need to be fixed. The DMV is up for sunset review this year. The state panel that reviews them already identified that our state lacks basic safeguards to identify and address vehicle title fraud. The task force is hoping this is enough evidence to convince them that more changes need to be made. I reached out and the DMV responded to each of the seven recommendations. You can see the full response with this story on KXAN.com, but in part they said Texas DMV does go after anyone misusing the temporary tag system. Anyone doing so can face criminal charges. Robert, back to you. And going in depth, this issue actually came up during the high profile trial for the attack on the Travis County State District Judge. Back in October, Chimini Onyeri received a life sentence on multiple federal charges. Onyeri orchestrated an attack on Judge Julie Kasurik in her West Austin home in 2015. It happened on the driveway of the house. Judge Kasurik survived that attack. Onuri was pulled over in Rollingwood in 2012 as a passenger in a car with a paper tag. The expiration date on that tag was obscured. The vehicle came back as untraceable. In the search of the car, the authorities say they found all the credit card and fraud scheme information incriminating Onuri. That was the initial charge he faced in Travis County that landed him in Judge Kasurik's courtroom originally. You can check out our investigation on these risky rides from the beginning. Look under the Investigate section at our website, kxan.com.